And turning tonight to the homeless crisis, a new voucher program in Santa Cruz County has shown success. KION's Natalie Gutierrez shows us how it works and what's next. I'm here in one of the housing locations where an emergency voucher is being used through the Housing Authority in the County of Santa Cruz. I spoke to county officials and they tell me why they did this and what's next. The emergency housing voucher program in Santa Cruz County has one goal to provide hundreds of people with housing. Robert Ratner is the director of housing in Santa Cruz County. Emergency housing voucher program and the federal government housing and urban development department created the program during the pandemic to try to expand affordable housing for folks struggling with housing issues during the pandemic. And the program was specifically created to help families and individuals who are homeless or struggling to pay rent. And in Santa Cruz County, um, our housing authority partnered with our division to explore how we could use those vouchers to help people who are currently homeless. According to the Housing Authority of Santa Cruz County, there are 295 emergency vouchers being used by children under 18 and adults over 60 and is being assisted by 188 property owners. One of the property owners is Kamal Narin, who has tenants at three different locations in Santa Cruz. He tells KION why he decided to do this. And tenants that are uh, good quality tenants, they're reliable, and the backing of the program takes care of the financial concerns. According to the July 2022 report from the National Low Income Housing Coalition, the Watsonville, Santa Cruz area is the most expensive rental market in the U.S. per average renter in the region. So what are Santa Cruz officials doing to build more affordable housing moving forward? At the local level, we're going to develop plans about where housing can get developed and then make some assumptions about funding opportunities. In the end, if we're really going to achieve those goals, we are going to need something like these emergency housing vouchers again from the federal government and from the state government to really make the goals realistic for those with the lowest incomes. The Housing Authority and the County of Santa Cruz, as well as local nonprofits, were able to make this housing project available with the help from the federal, state, and local government. In Santa Cruz, Natalie Gutierrez, KION, News Channel 46. County leaders say that 10,000 people are on the waiting list to get those housing vouchers. The county is also waiting on approval from the federal government.